Now, so I have a two-part question. <clears throat> the first part is how long did it take y'all to put this film together? And mm. The reason I asked the first part is because since you're filming the kids and them, them seeing themselves on the film and you're asking them questions and trying to direct them, what kind of effect has it you know, happened on them in the short period of time that it probably took you to do the filming? It's been, it's been on the kids that who, who've actually seen it, watched it, and that we're aware of. It's sort of it's been positive mm -hmm. for them because they're a lot of them are proud that they did this, mm -hmm. proud yeah. that they said right. this. Like the uh, like Shane, the, the last guy in, the, in car, the car. He was sort of relieved in a sense because he hasn't he hadn't really spoken openly about that his incident. situation mm -hmm. and for him I know for for myself when when I have issues that you know I'm you know I may be shy about or I may be chat it, it always works out better for me if I say it mm -hmm. and if I'm talking about it the more and more I talk right. about it right. the more and more I can deal with it the more and more I can address it and for him to sit back and be able to talk about his problems with reading and some of the other things that he's been through He's pretty proud of himself for being able to do that right. and actually be able to go on film on camera and do it. And that's what I was trying to say. Once they see themselves and they're able to uh, talk about their problems to us and they be able to do it on camera, they get more confidence to, you know, give us more of what they feel right. and what they need to say uh, to better themselves. Because a lot of them go home yeah. and they don't have anybody to talk to that None. about, you know. So, Ed, I don't think I need to tell you, I don't think Dwayne and I need to tell you that. I mean, I, I this morning, I, it was 6 o'clock this morning, 6.30, I'm like yeah. sending in messages, you right. know. But um, I wanted you to, I wanted to see if you could gather some of the people that were in the documentary. Yeah. So as yeah. you work on part, chapter two, mm -hmm. and as you guys, you know, get these guys together, keep it in mind that when you come back to talk about the next chapters, okay. I would love to have them on. Okay. okay. You know, yeah. because I think also that that would also further build their confidence mm -hmm. if they can sit here right. in this format even and discuss it mm -hmm. you know right. but even like back to Shane you could see in that brief period because I didn't capture that whole segment but you could see in that in the time in the car his posture lift mm -hmm. just a little Give bit him a little bit of right and then by the time he got out what? of the car he's putting his backpack on and he just walked differently mm -hmm. you know there mm -hmm. were some sentences I think that he needed to hear mm -hmm. right. yes. that were really positive for him. Yeah. And when I look at him, he's such a big dude. I know, he's, he's huge. Like, he's, he's, you know. When he said he was monster. 19, he's, I'm he's like, big. he's like one of those little he's puppies big. that have like their, you know they're going to be monsters right. someday, but they got the big paws. <laughs> yeah, but, um, big. yeah, yeah. He's so, he was so quiet. Like, I noticed that immediately. The first time I met him, I was like, wow, this guy is so quiet. It's just, it's... It's not. It wasn't that normal, you know. Mm -hmm. Quite a kind of respectful quiet. This it was, was. It was it something was, else. Yeah, it was something else. It was a damaged quiet. Yes. Damaged quiet. Yeah. Broken people. Yeah. It 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 took us like what like a month to finish the to actually. Document. It took us about a month to actually put all the scenes together and for it and and finish it. But we actually been shooting this thing. Some yeah. of the footage we have on there is maybe a year old. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Some some of the footage we ain't put up, but we got we got some raw stuff, you know. We just we holding on to it. Right. Would that be for the second part, or we have the second part we we're going to be working on. Right. Then we also have a Building Bulls page where we put up documentaries that we think will help people. Pieces of of some footage that we may use, like you may see footage pieces of right. footage that wasn't on the film you may see that on our page stuff like that but you'll be know that that was during that same period so we just got a lot of footage and and um we we we, we break it down and we use it we use all of it though one of the things that i didn't capture in the, the piece that we showed was shane's story about an incident that happened to him in school that impacted him going mm. forward mm -hmm. okay and then ed mm. shared a thing that happened to him in school that impacted him going forward right and so I'm thinking, I, do you have anything that was like... Impacted when, me in school? Yeah. <clears throat> Don't forget, I'm an old man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to remember. I got to go back. 
But it probably is something Mine that happened. is, um, we, my dad was in the Air Force, so we traveled a lot. I have no idea where we were living. Mm -hmm. But I was little enough where he, we still sat in a circle, mm -hmm. okay? And we were doing little workbooks, and we turned our workbooks in, and the teacher was grading in them, and then she would call the children up to come and get their workbook when she was done. So she would say, Becky, Sally, right. and the child would come, and she would hand them their workbook. Mm -hmm. Well, when she got to Nikki, everyone calls me Nikki, she took my handbook and threw it on the floor. Mm. And I was mm. like four years old maybe, right? And in my mind, and, and I was thinking this morning whether or not why I wanted to share it, because it certainly isn't like what happened to Shane, but that's my thing, where mm -hmm. I remember going home and telling my mom, actually I told my sister first, is it okay that she threw my book on the ground and didn't throw anybody else's book on the ground? And my sister is six years older than me. She's like, absolutely not, you know. Right, right. So she <laughs> told my parents, and my parents sat me down, mm -hmm. and they said, if anything ever happens to you like that again, if you are ever mistreated or disrespected in a class, mm -hmm. you walk out. Mm. You go directly to the principal's office, you tell them to call your parents, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And see, that's the important part. A lot of us, and a lot of them, don't, didn't have right. those kind of people that knew how to deal with that situation. With Shane, they dealt with, okay, the teacher slapped my son, let's go f talk about it. But they never turned around. And as far as I know, right. because I don't want to place right. any, for me and his exchanges, it seems as though they never turned around and dealt with what that did to yeah. him. Exactly. Right. Right. You know? Exactly. Right. And that's, that's important. Well, even your story, yeah. You know, yeah. with the, the, the math board, mm -hmm. that teacher never said, I was wrong, his answer was right, I shouldn't have treated him that way. Yeah. I certainly should have pulled him up like that, should not have pulled him up like that, yeah. you know. So, you know, there's a lot we can talk about. Um, like I said, I do want you, I don't have to ask you because you do, oh, yeah. keep in touch <laughs> with me and let me know how this mm -hmm. is going because um, this type of story with mm -hmm. the work that we do in the program and this program in the upper room, mm -hmm. This means a lot to, to us. It means okay. a lot to me. Mm -hmm. And I want to continue to lift this up and let right. people know what you're seeing and what you're doing. Because mm -hmm. yeah, there's not mm -hmm. a better way to start the year off huh. than, right. than something like this. Because they talk about the crime over here. And, and the average people here around the world, their mentality isn't something where you can say I'm sorry or say something encouraging, right. especially to our youth. That's why sometimes the youth the way they are. That's why someone like yourself, when you're talking to the kids like this, they can see it's coming from the heart, right. it's truthful, right. it's coming from a man, not what somebody else think they're a man or a boy. Right. It's coming from a man and experience. Mm -hmm. And I think when them feeling that, it makes a change in their lives. Mm -hmm. I applaud you both. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. We, we worked on, we have one, we just uploaded, we just finished okay. we just, Broken yeah. Soldiers. That's where we we, had, we really get into, we tell our a little bit about ourselves. ourselves. We tell yeah. them where we're coming from so they can actually see That's and hear. That's fantastic. That we, Is it know, on your Facebook page now? We just put it up there today. Oh, okay. On the YouTube. 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 It's on YouTube. When I post this segment, then I'll make sure I have a link to both this one and yeah. Broken Soldiers. Yeah. Okay. okay. And just in case, not to get in your film, but if you ever want me to come and tell my story how I got shot. <laughs> Yo, we would like, you know, we would like, oh, yes. we would like to, not yes. to, you know, would, but seriously, I think that's something because I was an innocent sh shooting victim. Wow. And, you know, the things I accomplished after then was great, but just not the accomplishment, but the shooting part, the mental part that I might have went through, those are things that I think the youth need to understand also. So not okay. even looking right. at my accomplishments, just the fact of being a shooting victim, surviving it, and not being depressed, upset hating the world, wanting to shoot everybody, right. you know, something different. Mm -hmm. So just in case, if you ever want to add oh, that yeah, we definitely, there, we definitely I'll make that. myself available to you. Okay, the, definitely. The, 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 I apologize right. because at first I thought you were joking. Uh, I thought yeah, you were a great yeah. joke, so no. Uh, no, 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 because no, I looked I normal, Me too, because I did. You know, I, the bullet went in the eye, and it went into a place where wow. you really couldn't even tell this is a fake eye. Wow. So, wow. you know, you wouldn't even know. That's heavy. But there's only one eye in partial sight and that one eye from a bullet. And matter of fact, um, if we do the filming, I have the, the actual bullet in my office. Wow. I'll bring it so we can even film it. And you can feel the weight of it or 
things yeah. like that. Because if I drop that in a kid's hand, when they feel that, it's going to do something. Like, this was in you? Yes. Right. Right. Mm. So we could get even deeper with them to get them in their focus. I, I got your back. Okay. Upper room, we with you. Definitely. Thank you. Appreciate it. We, okay. we have to yes. get them to trust us that it, it's, it's really real. Like you said, it's coming from the heart. And they need somebody to talk to. And some of them, they can't trust their own parents, and it's sad. But we here, like big brothers, like, you know, so. And this is where you come to talk about what's going yes. on. Okay. Yes. Yes. McKinley, I think you're <laughs> fantastic, and I really thank you for coming on the program this evening. Did you want to say hi to anyone? Hi. Okay. That's fantastic. <laughs> All right, Ed. Thanks, Steve. Thank you. Thank you.